know, probably for over the last week and since the stories have broke about Libya and all of the slave trading that goes on, I just want you not to lose sight of the fact that America also has a problem with trading sex, um, slaves, and also human trafficking is and always have been a huge problem in America as well. So when somebody forms their lips to say to you, nobody's a slave, that per just know that person you're talking to is an idiot. People are bought and sold on America's soil every single day. That's why human trafficking is going on. And your biggest human traffickers, ladies and gentlemen, are police officers in this country. You know, because they are more likely to get away with doing this for a long period of time before getting caught. And many of them don't get caught at all. And I actually did a video on this, I believe, over the summer. This is another example. This is Massachusetts. This man that you see in the picture, his name is James E. Benlin. He and a few other men are caught up in prostitution and human trafficking charges right now. So just know that America also has a terrible and ugly history of buying and trading human beings nationwide. Human trafficking is so such a lucrative type business to the point where people will be sold and they can be found overseas working in the sex trade or working as some type of servant at someone's house. And you never know what happened to these people. Yes, you know, sometimes when people disappear, it is also for organ harvesting. But there are also instances where these people are snatched, they are sold, and some, sometimes they are flown overseas and you never see them again. And this is a global thing. It's global. So this is just a prime example of this happening on American soil. So this is James E. Boleyn. A third man has been arrested in connection with a widening prostitution and human trafficking investigation. And another suspect is also facing charges and will likely be summoned in the near future. And this actually has been going on for a long time. This man that you see in the picture actually owns a motel. And he has been selling prostitutes to men. And a lot of these women, um, many of them were tricked into the sex trafficking trade. You know, they had no idea what was going on. And, you know, they always pick on the most vulnerable. A lot of these um, girls are runaways. So they had nowhere to go. And that's how they get a lot of them. But this has been going on. This is a case that has been going on up in Massachusetts. But, you know, it's one of many happening in America. So the next time somebody opens their mouth and claim that slavery is not going on in America, you can call them a big liar because it is happening through human and sex trafficking all throughout America. It never stopped happening. And it never will stop happening because it, it generates millions, if not billions of dollars every single year. You know, since this world was hijacked by the people that are in power now, you can expect this kind of corruption because they have proven they can't run a decent world. The world they run is full of crime, slavery, and all types of atrocities. They can't run the world any other kind of way. Just no one understand that. This is why they had to set up a prison industrial system in order to keep the black man 
in a perpetual slavery in America because they can't live without that slavery. And they have proven that they can't live without it being in the world. Just understand that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on that notification bell. Peace, family.